What's going on everybody, Quaker here, back with another video. Today I'm bringing you an app review for Amazon Prime Video. Uh, a while back on Twitter, I posted that Amazon Prime Video had an app in the store, a UWP app in the store, but you just couldn't log into it. But now it's fully available and you can watch videos and everything on it. So let's see how it works and let's see if it's worth downloading. So here it is. Here is Amazon Prime Video for Windows. You see it right there. And right off the bat, like I said, it's been in the store for like about a week or so now. You just couldn't log in. It would just crash the application. But it looks like now they've just activated it. So here you have the home screen of it, as you can tell by this house icon and this little cursor here uh, indicating where you're at. And from the far left, you have, if you open up this extra menu, you have your Prime Video just like that and it just shows you the home screen it's just a shortcut you have your search you have your home your store your channels your categories and if you hit the drop down it gives you all the different channels for different things 4k UHD shorts featured deals and so on closing that out you have your stuff so or my stuff um, and that shows you whether what other purchases you've had so on my personal Amazon thing I have these purchases um, and I have these little movies and things on my watch list and things like that and then it shows you everything together. And then you have your purchases and rentals. So if you watch Arrow like I do, this is where you'll see your purchases and rentals. And then also, if you go out of there, you can see downloads. So if you download anything, uh, it'll show up here. And then the other part is Amazon Kids or Amazon Prime Video for Kids, which just shows you a whole bunch of kids-related shows so that the kids stuff is just easy to find instead of, you know, how kids are when you have kids. They they don't have the, as much patience as most of us so uh, you just want to find your thing really quick and they have all those little things there and it's all there and then the last thing you have here other than sign out is your settings and this allows you to choose different options for uh, when you want how you want to download things so it says download using mobile data so if you're on mobile data it lets you check off whether or not you want to allow that to happen uh, download quality so if you're on if you download things it it lets you choose how much space you want to take up so it says uh for best quality uh video uses about 2.4 gigabytes of data and storage for one hour of video and then better is one hour video is about 1.1 and then good uh uses about 0.5 you have your app version it is 1.0 so it just came out and then you have your storage so how much storage you have left on whatever your main device is Obviously, I only have one hard drive, so it's not going to show anything else there. And it doesn't look like you can even change the storage device, the default storage device that you want to save your stuff to. Um, and then here you have your other information that goes out to the website for Amazon and allows you to do everything else on there. So going back home, you can click that or you can click this to go back home and you have your watch next. This this kind of reminds me of a fire TV stick or a fire stick. Um, just because the layout is kind of similar you swipe left and right or scroll left and right uh, You can click on this arrow and go between them and you scroll down to just go through everything This is exactly kind of how it is on the fire stick. You can tell this is not based off of uh, Microsoft's fluent design or anything like that. This is just Amazon's design style This is kind of how their UI and their interfaces all look like um, on all of their products so there's nothing really out of the ordinary in terms of design for this thing um, if you click on something let's say uh, one of the shows that I'm actually looking forward to if I search for Hannah for example a really good show and I click on here you can see here you have the show title for search you can refine the search by ways to watch um, which is like included with prime rent or buy you can choose by channels so the, the different channels that it could be on if you don't find what you're find looking for there's a good chance it's probably just not there but you can sort and narrow in if there's like a ton of things that have that title. Oops, I accidentally pressed back. And then also you can hit this plus icon, which adds it to your watch list. So if I plus it, it adds it to your watch list, um, which if I go back to my stuff, you see it popped up right there. So going back forward, you can see here if I click on it, it doesn't start the video right away, which is really nice. Um, it allows you to choose whatever season you're on for it. So like I'm getting to season two. Um, so if I want to watch season two, I can do that. It might take a little longer just because of how uh, how slow my connection is when I'm streaming. Um, so you can see that stuff. And then if I want to go back, you can go back to season one. It loads a lot faster. 
you can watch the episodes which we'll get to in a second to show you how the video interface is uh, you have your watch trailer you have your remove from watch list and you have your download I'm not gonna download it just that I don't have that much space on this computer and I love to reserve my space um, and then here you can see the show synopsis and things like that so if I hit this um, it doesn't start play you have to hit this play button for it to start you can click on the text down below and it'll expand the text so you can read all of it because you see the dots at the end right there and you just go through and you can kind of watch different things um, in fact for last to, to prevent spoilers of this show if you like watching this kind of stuff um, I'm just gonna hit play on this one here and then I'm just gonna pause it real quick there we go so you can see here uh, this is just a trailer so there's no spoilers on it um, x-ray for Amazon Prime video is essentially it lets you see more into uh, what's going on in the show such as who's on the screen at the time and things like that so you can see that Karen O was on bullet with butterfly wings uh, Esme Esme Miles um, was is Hannah and then you can see Michelle Dun Duncan is false Marissa and things like that um, and you can see the quality which will automatically bump up once you wait a little bit and it'll just load or you can just hit this and you can just choose best quality and then it'll reach that level and another thing you can see with the quality is you can see how much space per how much how much what is it how much data per hour that everything will take up um, in terms of bandwidth uh, as you're streaming it so you can see best uses about 6.84 gigabytes per hour that's kind of a lot because it's not 4k but I, I guess um, you have your volume there you can up and down your volume I'm gonna lower the volume all the way actually in case this thing just starts playing like it's trying to do you got your subtitles there too so you got subtitles you can turn it on and off you got your audio your subtitle settings so if I click that you can change the size of your subtitles change the color scheme of the subtitles maybe it's hard for you to see these colors so you can change it to different things which is pretty nice um, and then you have your view all for x-ray which brings up a lot more um, you can see just crisper detail on what's going on in the current scene uh, you can see the different scenes you can see the cast of this this specific episode which is kind of the general cast of the whole show and then you can see the music so you can see uh, Karen O in fact made the music to this trailer and you can see just like the album thing and just like that and the cool thing is it'll open it up in Amazon music so I don't know if I actually have Amazon music I do not I don't have Amazon Music, but there is an Amazon Music app on the Microsoft Store that you can actually download and probably view the same thing on there. So that's really nice. And then if we hit close X-ray, you see just like that, it closed the X-ray. And then if I close out altogether, close player, and then it's closed out. So it's it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty streamlined. If you're familiar with the Fire TV stick, um, whether it's the 4K variant or the regular, they all have generally the same interface. Even the Fire tablets and Fire, um, yeah, the Fire tablets, they all have similar interfaces. Where, let's go back home here, where when you you can scroll left and right, or you can go up and down and just see everything there. It's kind of like the generic entertainment interface that even Apple uses, which is everything like that. Even Netflix uses this kind of interface. So, yeah, it's a it's a pretty cramped application. Uh, final thoughts to. Uh, you can also just see the banner of the latest things that they're trying to look at so Twilight Zone and things like that you can see the latest things um, yeah it's a it's a pretty interesting application I don't really watch videos on my computer I don't watch like these kind of things on my computer I normally use it on um, like a TV I have a fire TV stick but if you're a person who watches a lot of this content Amazon Prime uh, video content on your computer now you have a native application that just works and it's and it's for this computer it's free to download you could just sign into your Amazon account and you can watch all the Amazon content you want um, that's attached to your account so yeah definitely definitely take a look at this um, it is very interesting in that you can finally do this instead of having to go through their website so yeah alright everybody if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and we're crawling higher and higher in terms of uh, rankings in terms of subscribers and just the numbers are growing very quickly thanks for all the support um you can follow me on next windows on twitter i'll put it all on the screen next windows on twitter subscribe to the channel um tell your friends this is just a channel where i find cool stuff that you might want to download and and this is another cool thing that it lets you get away from your web browser and just get directly to your content so 
Take care, everybody.